Hi everyone, welcome to my Abhyas. I am Jyoti Sandeep, your math teacher. I am so happy today because I am going to start a new chapter in class 12 that is trigonometric function. Already you have studied that in a class 10th, I know. But that was only the introduction, that was only the trigonometry what you have studied. See here, now it is trigonometric functions. All the ratios what you have studied there, we are learning that as a function and much more in this chapter. Okay, but still in this class 11th, I am starting with the basic and all the degree measurement, all that what we have no, what we are using in today's life. We will study on that, then we will go to the ratios, identities and all. Okay, you will learn a lot in this chapter also. And trust me, this is a basic for your calculus. Okay, calculus is a heart of mathematics for that this is a basic what you are learning. So very important, but it's simple. When you know the formula, definitely it's going to be very easy and fun to solve the problems. Okay, so let's start this chapter by knowing what it is actually. Trigonometry, as you all know, that is a Greek word and that is divided like this. Tri, gono and metri. Tri is a three, gono is the angle or sides we can take and the metri is a measurement. Okay, so when we are measuring, so this angle we have already studied in class 10th. We know that it is divided like that. We know that it is a Greek word and that is how trigonometry is used in day to day life also right so three angle measurement what you are taking here now if the measurement comes if the measurement comes how we are doing that actually let's see on this measurement What we use is a degree measure, right? Right from our childhood, we have learned that uh, 0 degree, 30 degree, 10 degree, 15 degree. So that is a degree measurement what we have learned in this. We have three sort of measurements in this actually. Measurement, we can do it using degrees, which is very popular, which is very simple to understand. And we are used to this, right? We are comfortable using degrees anyway. Second one, what we have not using is a grade grade system or it is called as in system if you are talking about this is called as the, the degree system is nothing but british system actually british system only we uh, we are using british system is nothing but degree what we use this grade we are using now that is centesimal system. Centesimal system. And the third one what you are learning in this chapter is radian. Now this grade measure we are not using. We are not dealing in this chapter that is not used. Okay. British system we are using and this is a French system what we are not using that radian measure we are using. So British system is also called as sexagesimal system. First we will see how the sexagesimal system is, how the degree is taken and then we will go to radian. As I told we are not dealing with the grades here. Understood? So let's see. First method, first method where you are measuring something. In measurement, what you measure actually, what is this measure, why we are learning this? When you have one initial ray, okay, when you have one initial ray, think that initial ray is rotating. When the initial ray rotates, suppose this initial ray rotates and stops here okay that we call it as terminating or terminal ray terminal ray so when this initial ray and when it becomes terminal ray no some measurement is coming there so what is this measurement called why we are dealing with the measurement in this chapter 
when the initial ray becomes terminal and that means it is rotating one angle is generated here correct one angle is generated so that angle we are measuring and there are ways to measure the angle that's why we are studying about this measurement okay before going to measurement i would like to tell you that how the angles are taken suppose see any way i can measure the angle from initial to terminal or terminal to initial any way i can measure that is considered as angle suppose i am measuring like this from initial to terminal and the in this direction okay this is initial ray and this is terminal ray terminal ray if this is one second this is terminal ray when initial ray and terminal ray are considered and i am measuring the angle but i am measuring from initial ray to terminal ray okay from there so what direction it is taking if you are taking this direction if you are going in this direction that is taken as anti clockwise correct when you take anti clockwise direction then the angle what generates there will be definitely positive angle remember this point okay from initial to terminal when you are going and when you are taking the anti clockwise direction definitely you are going to get positive angle the measurement is same but it is only about the direction how you take it so suppose you have initial ray here and when terminal ray is like this when you are going to measure this clockwise direction okay from here if you are going 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree i am going back to the 360 that the rotation is called as anti clock when you are going the other way like how clock rotates that way when you measure then it is taken as clockwise direction when you take clockwise the rotation or direction when you take clockwise rotation or direction then what angle we get that will be negative angle because of the clockwise direction understood so suppose you are considering this as the x axis and this is the origin so when you are taking the angle then it will be anti clockwise means you will get a positive angle there like a 10 degree 20 degree 30 40 like how you get no till 90 and as i told coming back to 360 that is anti clockwise direction so we have positive angle suppose from directly 0 degree you are uh, you are standing here in 0 degree and taking this type of rotation you are going near to 270 okay you from 0 degree you are going near to 270 that direction is taken as a clockwise direction there you will have this negative got it so to study all this the measurement we have three types as i told let's see the measurement first what i told which is the first method it is also called as british system but the method is sexagesimal system in sexagesimal system one complete rotation is there no that is divided into how many parts this one rotation is divided into 60 equal parts okay so i am dividing this suppose i am dividing it into 60 equal parts and each part we call it as a degree so it will be very minute right when it is very minute in this sexagesimal system one complete rotation is divided into 360 equal parts okay now the circle i have taken you are dividing that into 360 equal parts so when you divide this into 360 equal parts minute parts will be there suppose this is a one among that suppose you are doing dividing like this 360 division you have done and one minute division i am mentioning here okay suppose you have taken this part that minute part we call it as a degree 
So when one rotation is divided into 360 equal parts, each part we call it as a degree. Okay. And that degree what I have shaded here, that degree is again divided into 60 equal parts. So now degree is divided into, the small is there. Now one degree is there. This is again divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called as minute. Got it? Understood? And minute is denoted like this. One minute. Now again we got a minute part there and that one minute is divided into 60 equal parts again and that is taken as a second. So now what we use in our time that is also same thing in time you have angle no. So angle is measured like this in degrees or in radians that is a SI unit of that. For time also we have SI unit like a minute seconds right. So the same thing is uh, taken here also. So once again I will tell how the sexagesimal system is. One complete rotation you can see that in this also. One second. I will show you in this. See one rotation, one rotation you have taken divisions there and that is divided into 360 equal parts. 360 equal parts and each is called as a degree and again that degree as I shown here you can divide that into 60 equal parts and each is called as a minute there. Minute is again divided into 60 equal parts and each is called as a second and this is how we write the second. Got it? Now we know all this right, this is taken as a uh, which system, sexagesimal system that is taken as a British system. Now after knowing this, if I want to know the conversion, I will take you to the PPTs where you can see the conversions. If I want in problems this happens, if I want a minute in degree, if I want seconds in degree, so you have to remember this. Remember this one, 1 by 360, 1 by 360 of a complete rotation will give you 1 degree, okay. So in that, if I want 1 minute, that is 1 divided by 60 of degree, if I have to convert minute to degree, once I have to take 60, if I have to convert seconds to degree, seconds to minute, once I have to say, take 60. Suppose, if I have to convert second to directly degree. Second to degree if I have to take, then I have to take 1 divided by 60 into 60. First what happens? Seconds to minute, then seconds to minute to degree. So that's why I have to take like this. Twice I have to take. So that is one thing you have to remember and this is any way we know one right angle is 90 degree. Correct? So this is about the system. Next we have Radian. This is very important for your syllabus. As I told, centesimal is not there. The grade 1 we are not using only in this chapter and even in class 1. But this is a new system what you have to learn. Circular measurement or it is taken as a radian system. I will explain you how it this goes. Radian and this definition is also important. This will be asked for one mark. Okay. Very few definitions you have in class 11th. And this is one among that. Radian definition is very, very important. This is taken as a circular measure. How this definition goes then? See in radian what happens? You have one circle. Consider that this is a circle with a center O and radius R. Okay. Suppose you have two points on the circumference. Then suppose you have this radius and this arc length. AB is giving you the arc length, right? Suppose OA and AB are equal. Suppose OA and AB are equal. Then this also is taken as a R. 